Helen Mary Skelton, John Skelton's daughter, and Eric Gill's great niece. I love Eric Gill's lettering. The elegance there is something to aspire to. Well, my father became Eric's apprentice in 1940, just before Eric sadly died. Then my father came to the common to be apprentice to Joseph Cribb. Probably about five when I first remember meeting Joseph Cribb, who was Eric Gill's assistant. And he was a lovely, cuddly sort of chap. I do remember going to the sports day that was held on the common every year and showing us butterflies and getting down on our, our level. For a commissioned piece, I will always do a scale drawing and the client will then check that over, make sure that there aren't any mistakes. The lines go on first, make sure they're in the right place, check and measure again. I work direct from my scale drawing onto the stone. To use very traditional things, when I'm doing my uh, scale drawings, I literally use a B pencil. I usually do the drawing onto the stone. The journeyman comes along and will make the sort of skeletal part of the letter. And then I will come along and flesh that out and put the serifs on and, and just do all the finishing touches. Well, I started my apprenticeship in 1973, but I wasn't allowed to carve a letter or start carving really until six months into my apprenticeship because I had to understand the letter forms before I was allowed to carve them. My father was a very charismatic man. He expected me to do exactly what any apprentice would have done and I, I was grateful for that. The subtlety comes from knowing your letter forms. So studying the Roman alphabet gives you that subtlety. They were masters of a letter elegance. With letter carving you've got to be very accurate. I think a good piece of letter cutting, it's got to be nice and deep. It's got to convey in such a way that my eye glides across and reads the meaning without jarring. The, the edges should be nice and crisp and spacing is another very important aspect. Consistency within an inscription is probably the very main criteria that I would use for judging a good piece of letter cutting. You can't bash the stone because you'll just ruin your letters. The fact that all of that inspirational work has gone on, go to Ditchling, I see all this wonderful lettering around and there it is. <laughs>